In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure your Nginx proxy. So briefly, it's a web server, but I like to make sure that you understand what Nginx is. What are the benefits? Why do we actually use it, right? So in the previous lessons, we actually installed Nginx along with Jenkins. We also installed the Java JDK 8. So here, we need to understand and also configure the Nginx because that is going to work as an intermediary between Jenkins and our AWS. And it's going to act as a reverse proxy for us. So before I dive into the configuration aspect, let me on a couple of slides, just two slides, talk about the concept as well. So we understand the concept and then we take a look at the application of that particular concept. All right, so what is Nginx? Nginx is an open source software for web serving, reverse proxying, caching, load balancing, media streaming, and more. And you will find this regardless of the platform that you use, such as AWS, or even if you use Google Cloud, you work with Kubernetes and Docker, you will be using Nginx, okay? It started out as a web server, initially designed for performance and stability. However, in addition to its HTTP server capabilities for acting as a simple web server, Nginx also performs important functions, such as being a proxy server for your email, POP3, SMTP, IMAP, and a reverse proxy and load balancer for HTTP, your transmission control protocol, or the UDP servers. So it serves many important functions. Why do we use it? Okay, what's the bottom line here? So a reverse proxy, think of that as a server that sits between the internal applications and external clients. So in our particular example, or this particular project or course, right, the reverse proxy or Nginx is going to sit in between Jenkins and AWS. And of course, we're going to use the browser to connect this. So it forwards you know, the client requests to the appropriate server. Now it may seem going back and forth, right? Like why do we need a middleman, right? Why do we need a middle person stand, sitting in between the actual you know, internal application and external client? Why do we need it? We talked about the benefit, right? And we are going to talk about more here as well. So Nginx has a number of advanced load balancing, security, and acceleration features that most specialized applications lack. So this particular piece, Nginx, serves a very important and critical process within your applications. Using Nginx as a reverse proxy will also enable you to add those features to any application. And again, one of the two most important benefits you will get out of using Nginx as a reverse proxy is logging. It's going to log in Jenkins and application security as well. Because your IP addresses are going to go from your source to the destination. So having a watchdog, so to speak, Nginx, will serve that purpose. So it'll give you that additional application level security as well. All right, now that we understand Nginx, let's take a look at how we can implement Nginx with AWS and then work with Jenkins. Perfect. So once we're back into the AWS console, notice our instance is running. In order to check the public DNS, I just need to copy this particular URL and open up my browser window and see if we're able to connect to this instance, which I don't believe we have done it so far, but you could have done it in earlier lessons as well. As soon as the instance is running and configured, you could just check and see whether you can connect to that or not. But I'm going to copy it here and navigate to a new tab and then paste it. And this is going to go ahead and give me the welcome to Nginx. So this simply means that I am able to connect to my AWS instance. 
So if you see this page, the Nginx web server is successfully installed and working. Perfect. Now, it's not configured yet, right? It's working. But if we configure this Nginx as a reverse proxy, and I would to reload this page after the configuration, I should be able to connect to Jenkins. Okay, so that's the objective. So let's navigate back to our management console here. I'm going to bring up the shell and make sure I'm connected or using my root as the admin. So here I'm going to go ahead and start to configure the proxy or the Nginx proxy. So here we first need to remove the default configuration or unlink the default Nginx configuration and then of course build our own I'm going to use the VIM editor or to, to simply create a file for ourselves, Jenkins.config file, so that it uses that to connect to Jenkins. And of course, as usual, I have my handy notes here. Perfect. So the next step is to, in fact, configure our Nginx file or the Jenkins.conf file. And that's exactly what we are going to do. So once I'm connected to the shell, Notice on my notes on the left, this is the file that we need to create using the Vim editor. So let's go ahead and bring up the command here. I may have it saved. There it is. So just do vim etc nginx conf.d jenkins.conf file. So this is going to bring up the editor. If you already have something in it, just make sure you do the insert and then get rid of everything and then we need to I want to see if I can copy and paste this into this file all right perfect so once I have copied and pasted this I'm going to remove the insert module and make sure I have everything that is required in the file perfect hit the escape key and then of course do the colon wq it's going to save the file. So if you were to test the nginx t, it's going to say that the configuration file of nginx.config syntax is okay and the test has been successful. So that way you can build up this file depending on your own requirements. And notice I have server name your Jenkins site.com. You can replace this with your own EC2 instance but if you're listening to the default and since you already have it to go to jenkins site.com it's going to go there so let me in fact bring up the file again just edit the file and the proxy is going to pass to jenkins which is exactly what we're looking for and if i scroll up and see if i'm able to find server which is listening to and do the insert I'm going to get rid of this we don't need this so hit the escape key colon WQ and then save it Let's test it again and perfect so we have another successful nginx so once you have this then we can go ahead and test it as well so reload the Nginx, you just need to run the system CTL and then reload Nginx. Make sure my spellings are correct. And this is going to reload. So now, in order to test it, we need to go back to our browser and then ensure that we get the Jenkins connection. So let me go ahead and move this a little down here. So currently it says Welcome to Nginx. That was by default, right? But after we have successfully configured the Jenkins.com file. All I have to do is just reload and see if I'm able to connect to the Jenkins page. And it looks like it's coming up. Voila, perfect. So now we are able to sign in to Jenkins and we have the ability to enter the admin password. So I hope this helps practice with this. If you have any questions on this, post them in the discussion area. Just follow these steps and be wary of these syntax errors that you get, right? So with this, let's move to the next lesson.